Hello. Today we're going to discuss about Tamcat, which is uh, Java, which, which is Java's uh, web platform, and we will be using Docker. So I will be doing a pull from this Docker Hub, and I already have it now. So now I will have I will try to instantiate a Tamcat container in Docker. I will be using net host because my machine is Windows and uh, Docker host is a remote virtual machine in Linux. And by exposing the network address of the container via this flag net host, I will be able to access the container through the IP of the host. And we can optionally name our container as test tamcat. So our container is now running and it has the name test tamcat. And because I use net equals host, I will be using the IP address of my Docker host which is 192.168.99.100. Net equals host is a useful flag that I often used because I have a Windows machine and the IP address of a container, if we do an inspect, um, Okay, um, I will have to go inside uh, Docker host and inspect the container from there. Hmm. So it was not located an IP address. Anyhow, let us check to access using uh, DOS prompt, Telnet. And the port is open. So it's not time to access the Tamcat inside the container via the IP address of the host. If you are using Linux as your machine, then you have the direct access to the container and using does does net host is not necessary. And here is our container. But the problem with this container is that if you access the manager and you are access denied, and you are given instruction how to configure that. And that is what we are going to do here. Now we can go inside the container. Okay, and let us access again the And the instructions here said that we are going to modify Tomcat users XML. And however,
we cannot modify that inside a container because it is currently running now. For example, um, we, we also don't have an editor inside here. Um, however, let us try to, to install an editor. And we are going to try to, to follow the instruction in this page. We will add rules and su supply password. And I'm going to install BI or Vim. Now that our Veeam is installed, it is try now to edit the file. And uncomment the rules here. So we will change the password to be just password. And the rule names are specifically stated here to be manager GUI and, and manager script. Let us try this first two rules. So we are defining here the manager GUI and manager script rules, two rules in all. And the user Tamcat has a password of password and he has a manager GUI rule. The username boss, or we could change this to Alice, and he has a user of, uh, he has a password of password and he has both manager GUI and manager script rules. Then, however, we will change this to Bob and Bob has the manager script rule. The we'll save this. Well, let us try to access again the, the app. And it seems that we need to refresh. Well, since this is a container, um, we are not, we don't have the PS command. And the PID one here is the Catalina or the Tamcat, Tamcat application. So if we do a shutdown, and it kills the container as well. Because in Docker, if the PID1 is killed, the entire container shuts down. And so we have a dilemma. We cannot restart our container. And we need to restart it in order for the settings to take effect. Ah, OK. A little start again.
this one test time cut and it is now started let's go inside okay white so let us try again to access the page so the next thing to edit here is the context that dot XML let us close this page and specifically the one in manager context.xml and we need to comment this ip filtering because by default um, Docker does not allow access if the IP address is not localhost. And again, we have to stop the container in order for the changes to take effect. So I guess the container has restarted. We can also do a uh, Docker logs to, to view the logs, okay? And then we do a uh, manager again. And finally, we are greeted, greeted with a password prompt and it is type the password um, timecat, the user timecat and the password is password and we are in okay let's close this now so you will notice that for each change For each change, we need to restart. We need to restart the container because when we restart the Tamcat, the container dies with it. But the changes has persisted during that moment. And then when we change the context of XML, we need to restart again the container so that when the next restart, the change in context that's that. XML will take effect. Well, another way of doing this is let's try to exit and um, I'm going to the TMP directory and I will create a directory kitchen there and I'm going to copy the XML files from the container outside. So Docker CP this Tomcat and user local Tomcat corner. There and the other one was in here. Okay, so these are the XML file and 
these are the correct uh, template users file. Then uh, we need to enumerate, uh, since our container is taken from Tomcat and Tomcat uh, latest, we need to create a Docker file. Then we need to say from Tomcat latest. Okay, so we will be using the base image to modify it. And after that, um, copy Tomcat users to um, here, that one, and as well as the context. There. So we already possess in our local desk the Tamcat image. We already have that because this is the base image of our container. Then we say from this one and we re and we copy the modified version again to this one to the same location. So base we are now going to create a new image based from another image. So the way to do that is docker build minus D. Then we will create our, our new image as name as modified model tamcat dot. There it is. So if we, if we do docker images, we now have a new image called modif tamcat and we will now create a new container based from this modified image. But before we do that, we have to stop the other container. So there will be no running containers to, to preserve the port 8080 in the Docker host. So now let us create a new container based from this modified image. Test Tomcat 2. So instead of instead of starting our new container now from Tomcat, we will use the modif tamcat which is a modified image there and then we will access the container since it is created from the modified image we no longer need to do any modifications because from the Kits and folder here, and in Docker file, when we created the image, we supplied it with a modified XML. There. And we are in. So that's it, guys, and I hope uh, this is useful to you. For, for us Java programmers and container fans. Thank you.